Welcome to this video where I show you the radial planimeter that I built. It's called a radial planimeter because a planimeter is a device that finds the area of some shape. And it's radial because it rotates around an axis. The way it works is by tracing the perimeter of the shape you want to find the area of, you will move all of these mechanisms inside the device. And at the end, a dial on the device will tell you the area of the shape that you just traced. To read the result, what you do is you first zero the output dial. Then as you trace the curve, this gear containing the dial will move sideways depending on how much area was traced. This device is almost entirely 3D printed and it's made up of these three devices stacked on top of one another. The way this mechanism finds area is by using the equation for the area of a polar curve, which is the integral of 1 half r squared d theta. These three mechanisms, which are stacked on top of each other, essentially do the three parts of that equation. This mechanism finds the radius, this mechanism squares the radius, and this mechanism does the integration. Since we use this pointer to trace the curve that we want to find the area of, the radius at any point in time can be measured by the movement of this rack. The next mechanism takes the rotation of this gear and transfers it to the rotation of this big disc. The groove is cut in such a way that the rotation of this disc represents the radius of this rack, but the position of this pin represents the radius squared. Lastly, on the final device, the pin on the squaring mechanism is physically connected to the pin on the mechanical integrator. This means the input of the integration is R squared. The way that this mechanical integrator works is that this pin controls the position of the sphere. Since the entire top half of the mechanism is rotating, the ball rotates against the bottom disc, and that rotates this barrel, which in turn drives the final output.